ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் ஐ எம் தேவேந்திர பிரபு அஸ்டன் ப்ரொஃபஸர் ஸ்கூல் ஆஃப் காமர்ஸ் கேஎஸ்ஆர் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் ஆர்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் சயின்ஸ் ஃபார் உமன் திருச்செங்கோடு இன் ஆடிட்டிங் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் ஃபார் ஆடிட்டர் ஸோ ஹூ இஸ் ஆடிட்டர் ஹூ த பர்சன் டு ஆத்தரைஸ்ட் டு வெரிஃபை த ஆல் சப்போர்ட்டிங் டாக்குமெண்ட் ஆன் எக்ஸாமினிங் த ஆல் ஃபினான்ஷியல் ரெக்கார்ட்ஸ் இன் த கம்பெனி டு கிவன் த ரிப்போர்ட் டு த மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் தட் பர்சன் இஸ் கால் த ஆடிட்டர் they are given right a person authorized to review the verify and accuracy of financial records to ensure the companies to comply with the tax and laws so then an auditor is appointed by the firm to company to execute an audit process to act as an auditor as a person should be uh, certified by the regular authority of accounting and auditing process certain specified some qualification as the auditor have must possess some qualifications then the most of auditor required to uh, list the bachelor degrees in accounting or finance or any related field some auditors may also hold a master degree in accounting or business administration which can be enhance their knowledge and their expertise in the field so who the person uh, like uh, act as an auditor that person compulsory possess the any bachelor degree in finance and accountancy and also completed the chartered accountant so this is the most uh, important qualification for auditor those who are completed the chartered accountant course that person eligible to become an auditor right so the another qualification for auditor then first one is education then second one is experience then training then proficiency then competence and communication so these are the basic qualification for an auditor then next one is an appointment of auditor so we are already discussed that auditor was appointed by them a uh, company in board of directors the directors appointed by the first auditor of the company they hand hold them be until end of their first meeting of the shareholders or uh, to which of the accounts will be laid by the before members the first once the company was incorporated before incorporation the board members to appointed the auditor to uh, involve to to act as an auditor to given the work to the uh, accounting process the company will shall appointed the first auditor within 30 days its incorporation the first auditor of the company is appointed by the board of directors of the company uh, in the case of board of uh, directors is a failure extraordinary general meeting in short term egm shall be called and within 90 days to appoint the auditor the first auditor in the company uh, appointed by the comp- uh, board of directors in company right then what are the duties of auditor as a auditor have some duties the first one is prepare an audit report then second one is uh, form a uh, negative opinion were necessary i have to give the command the company whether the company was don't know what are the rules and regulations for happen in current scenario so as a auditor to know and to give the negative command and also positive command to the company the next one is uh, make inquiries as a auditor have to uh, duty to make an inquiries for in accounting process the next one is uh, lend assistance in case of branch audit sometimes the company having more than uh, two branches they have to go and visit get a branch audit also the next one is reporting of fraud if the auditor to given to involve the audit process if anything fraud will the fraud will be happen anything uh, mistake will be happen to identify immediately report to the chairman or the company board of director this is the most important thing then next one is a company with audit standard as auditor do not lose their audit standard the whatever the norms accordingly they have to act as and faithfully and truthfully the next one is assistance in an investigation as an auditor to investigate the all accounting process whether the document is right or not supporting document uh, cash book bank balance uh, financial statement everything should be uh, true or not so will be check it and thoroughly uh, twice so this is the important thing the next one is the powers and the rights of an auditor the auditor have some right also then first one is right to assess the book of accounts and vouchers as a auditor have the right to assess the all books of accounts and voucher so whatever the documents or accounts are available in company as a person the right auditor to verify the all documents and examine crossing verification asking question to the company employees uh, you have the full right to assessment the documentation the next one is right to receive the information 
and the explanation somewhat the in some particular scenario the auditor need more explanation for the particular transaction you have right to get the proper information or explanation from the company the next one is uh, right to assess the books and the paper of branch also the next one is right to receive notice of general meeting and uh, attend the meeting as a auditor have right to attend the all meetings in the conducted by the company so this is the uh, uh, important rights of the auditor so we meet in next video thank you